victory, you know, shooting for four in a row now. Uh, tomorrow night, could you talk about this game a little bit? Then we'll open it up for the questions. Go ahead, please. I felt well prepared for this game based on the teams that we played. Um, this team reminded me a little bit of Port Washington, who's one of the best teams that we played this year. Um, the Kimberly game, Homestead, where we had to be able to guard them and keep them out of the paint as much as we could and then rebound. I thought we we accomplished what we wanted to for the most part. Uh, we kind of got a little bit crazy there where we uh, let them get, get running and get some a couple dunks, which isn't our thing. And uh, they got loose for a couple threes, but I thought defensively was where we won the game uh, early. And then we were, we were pushing it down pretty hard on the offensive end as well. So our ability to push it in transition and to run our stuff in transition and to make them have to try to guard us in the full court was uh, what was to our advantage tonight. No, it did get a little, I guess, ugly there for a while. And, you know, guys are kind of having fun and smiling and laughing. But, you know, you got to let them have some fun playing the game once in a while because you don't always have a game like that. And we try to get everybody in and get everybody some good minutes on the Cole Center floor, which is always great for all the kids to be here. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're talking to our top guys and our top seven, eight guys that, hey, this we, this is uh, this is not the end. We still have work to do, and I think for the most part, um, our guys have proven that they they have the ability to focus for their next one, towards the next thing. Uh, we're not going to treat this any different than any other game. At the same time, it's the biggest game of our life because, I, like I tell the boys all the time, the game you're playing right now and the and the the day you're in, you live for this day. And the game we're playing next and the game we're playing tomorrow is our biggest game, so we're going to be ready for it. Uh, if, if just had five players, I believe, um, that scored in double figures. I guess could you talk about on the offensive end um, how it was a combined effort tonight and all you guys, uh, you all chipped in a little bit. We thought that we could take advantage a little bit uh, inside um, because we got a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher kids, we thought, we were hoping. and. Um, we, we were able to get the ball into the post a little bit, get some offensive rebounds. And uh, Dwayne shot the ball really well tonight and was, a, we, was able to uh, go inside and outside. Um, but our ability to get the ball into Kyle, get the ball into uh, Max and Connor, um, that was the key to our game t tonight, I think. Uh, more than we've been doing lately. Uh, if you're at the Kimberly game, we, were, we didn't have that enough. So. You could definitely tell the difference and, and that we accomplished what we were trying to do tonight. Um, you know, t you know, take us one talk, talk about that run to end the first quarter. It was a 15-12 game, and then all of a sudden, you know, you're up 13. Uh, you know, what was the key there? And then on that three-pointer, was it one of those things where you uh, double pump all the time and then swish it? <laughs> well, the run ending the first quarter, a key to that was, you know, getting stops. Uh, we preach and practice back-to-back -back stops, and you know we got to finish every possession with a box out and a rebound, and that's what really hurt them because you know they have a little bit of length, so they like to get offensive rebounds. And about the shot, you know, it was just just might as well throw it up there, and I just got lucky. 